Hello, this is Duke Byte. Let's take a look at the ProBuilder built into Unity. What is ProBuilder? ProBuilder is a tool for simple 3D modeling and texturing. It allows to quickly prototype and design levels. ProBuilder allows you to export models to external 3D applications like Maya or Blender to give them a more exciting and complex final look. Today we will prepare Unity to work with ProBuilder. Let's move on to Unity Hub and create a new project by choosing Universal Render Pipeline. Creating a new project can take a while. Let's open the lighting panel from the window rendering lighting menu. Ensure you have auto generate turned off, as this may slow down your work on the scene. Now let's remove the unnecessary stuff to have a clear place to work. We can now install the Pro Builder and Pro Grids. Pro Grids is a tool that allows you to mix objects accurately, thanks to the built-in grid. This step ensures that the scene elements are precisely arranged. Now open Package Manager from the Window menu and select Package Manager. We can also remove unnecessary packages. From the drop-down menu at the top, switch the visibility of packages from in project to Unity Registry. Search for the Pro phrase. Unfortunately, you can't see the Pro Grids package because it is a package in the preview phase. We can change it by clicking on the Advanced button. We have to select Enable Preview Packages. Now we can install both packages. The process of installing the packages can take some time. Now let's go to the scene view. You can already see the Pro Grids toolbar. We can close it by clicking on Close. The first option allows you to change the value at which the elements on the grid will be snapped. Later on, we will take a closer look at the other Pro Grids options. OK, but where is the Pro Builder toolbar? Select Tools Pro Builder window and click Pro Builder window. You can attach the toolbar to the edge of the application or the edge of another panel. You can also change the presentation of options from text to graphic. However, I prefer the text version. We can create a new item by clicking New Shape. We can also use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl, Shift, and K to open a new shape creation window. Unfortunately, the default appearance of objects is not very clear when working with Pro Builder. We need to create new material. Let's give the material a texture that will improve the readability of the created elements. Search by the name box. By default, the texture is hidden. 
We have to switch the visibility of the elements by clicking on the eye icon. Choose grid box default. Now let's give a name to our material. You can drag the created material on the created elements. Now we can see on them a grid corresponding to that of the Pro Grid. Unfortunately, the newly created objects still have the original material. We can change this by choosing the Edit Preferences menu. In the Pro Builder tab, there is a Mesh Settings section. There we can change the default material by replacing it with our newly created one. I hope that the movie has been helpful. If you have any comments or questions, I invite you to the comments section below the video. Don't forget to like this movie and subscribe to the channel. See you next time.